Alright, so today I want to talk about the invention of aerosol cans. Aerosol cans are something we're all very familiar with, and our lives would be very different without it. Eric Rotium is the man who is responsible for first coming up with the idea of aerosol cans, and he has the first patent on it. Lyle Goodhue and William Sullivan later modified it to create what is more of the modern day aerosol can as we know it. I'll get more into that here in just a little bit, but first I want to cover some of the, the history. Uh, as I mentioned, Eric patented it. That was back in 1927. After doing nothing with the patent, he later sold it to a U.S.-based company in 1931. Lyle and William then had the opportunity to modify the original design to what we know today before giving a, uh, a version of that that is a mosquito repellent to the U.S. military where they used it to repel mosquitoes when the soldiers were in areas that had mosquitoes with malaria. And pictured to the right is the original version of that, or a version of it. And then also in 1977, the Clean Air Act limited the use of CFCs in the aerosol cans. So the original invention, as Eric had pictured it, was actually for whipped cream. He wanted to put a propellant and cream inside of a can and have instant whipped cream. We of course have a modern version of that pictured to the right that we're probably all familiar with. I know that I love this. So what changed? What is different than having a propellant and the cream in it? So now instead of having a propellant it's just pressurized. So by pressurizing the, the cream in that case, then when you push the button, it comes out as whipped cream that gets rid of the propellant and makes it a much simpler design as far as I can tell. And then, of course, the other change, as mentioned before, is the limit of the CFCs. Um, I'm not going to go into depth about that. I just thought it was an interesting bit of information to include about what has changed and what developments have been made because really there hasn't been very much change in aerosol cans since the original patent was made. So we'll talk about a few things that have stayed the same besides the basic principle where you have a, your product in the can, you push a button, out comes whipped cream, mosquito repellent or whatever you want. Uh, when the U.S. originally issued the first licenses for manufacturers to manufacture these cans, it only issued three. And of those three companies, two of those companies are still in business, still manufacturing these cans today. Well, that's everything that I wanted to cover about aerosol cans. Thanks for watching the video.